Hello there, I'm Dr Sally Cathcart and I'm one of the founders of The Curious Piano Teachers. Thank you so much for clicking through. That was the opening section of Arabesque by Bergmüller, which is one of my favourite teaching pieces at the sort of the early intermediate level. And it also happens to be a really good example of a modulation. Modulation is all about music going on a journey. We start in a home key and it feels nice and safe, but then after a while, the music begins to lose momentum. So the composers take us to related keys or maybe even sometimes non-related keys to give us a sense of adventure and exploration. It's a bit like going on a road trip because eventually, of course, we like to come back home and everything goes back to normal again. And that brings me to the subject of our modulation road trip here. Now, this is designed to help our pupils get their heads around all those key changes and modulations that every piece has in it. Now, I've used this to great effect with both intermediate and advanced pupils, and it really helps them get the sense of structure and the understanding that, especially a longer piece of music, is quite an extended form that needs to be understood from inside out, if you like. So you can print it off and then laminate it, or you can write directly on it. Of course, the choice is completely yours, but it will really help your student to think through all those different related keys. So here's how to fill it in. So here is a blank modulation road trip. And this has got on it the likely keys that most composers will use. So we've got the tonic key in the center, that's our home, and then we might go to the dominant key or possibly to the subdominant key. Other likely keys then are the relatives of these, the relative of the dominant key, the relative of the subdominant and of course the relative of the actual tonic key itself. And then there is one other key to consider and that is the tonic major or minor key. So in other words the uh, if we're in A minor, then the tonic major would be A major. Let me show you what I mean with the Bergmüller. And so here is a modulation road trip that's been filled in, and this is for the Bergmüller arabesque. And let's just go through this very briefly. So the tonic key is A minor, and we'll have the accidentals of G sharp and F sharp, which you'd fill in. And then you'd look at the dominant key and you'd write that in, which in this case is E minor with its attendant key signature and the accidentals that you're going to be looking out for as a signal. You've also got then the relative of that dominant key, which in this particular case is G major. And again, we're looking for that key signature of an F sharp. And if we go to the left hand side, we're now looking at the subdominant key. So this is now D minor, the subdominant key of A minor is D minor. And for that, we have a key signature of B flat. So we'd be looking out for the appearance of B flats um, as a signal. We'd also be looking out for the accidentals of C sharp. And of course, with D minor, we're also looking out for B natural. So there might not be a B flat after all, but we'd be looking for a predominance of C sharps. And we'd also be looking for some sort of cadential, um, a cadential progression in the key of D minor. Probably a perfect cadence, to be honest. That C sharp really is the crucial thing here. And coming down here to the relative subdominance, um, we're looking for F major. And at this point, we're definitely looking for that B flat to come out. And then if we come back to this middle segment, um, of course, we have the relative major or minor, which in this case is C major. And of course, C major, well, we'd be looking for no, no accidentals at all where. And finally, we're looking for the tonic major or minor. And in this case, it's A major. So we'd be looking out for F sharp, C sharp and G sharp. OK, so it's that addition of the C sharp that would really give us the feeling that, yes, we are in A major. So that is your modulation road trip filled in for the Bergmüller arabesque. So I hope you found that helpful. 
you can use it in many different ways, of course, once it's filled in. I mean, for example, you know, what a great idea to send students home with it and say, those are your scales that you're going to practice for this week. Again, that choice is yours. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, please, if you want to see more from the Curious Piano Teachers, just hit the subscribe button, which is somewhere underneath here. Just that will subscribe you to our YouTube channel. And we hope to see you again. Until then, happy teaching. Bye for now.